Hello and welcome to Tuesday. I'm meteorologist Jeff Matthews. Welcome to Weathertainment 2.0. We've got the monochrome Eldridge Knot combo working here. Whoa! We really put in for it today. Have a look at the temp trend. Average is down to 79. 77 is our forecast high for today. Cooler weather for Wednesday and Thursday with the ramping up of temps for the weekend, but not a great deal above average. Just a little bit by the time we get to the beginning part of next week. Now, your weather headlines. A thermal dip on the way. You saw that on the uh, temperature trend. Rain-wise, showery today and maybe a thunderstorm on Friday. And that puts the hit on the big-time meteor shower event. The Perseid meteor shower going on the next several nights. It peaks Wednesday night and Thursday night. You might get some good viewing in yet. You might. Even tonight, you might get some good viewing. I know several nights ago I saw eight one night and three the next, and I didn't even spend that much time outside. So I do encourage you to get out. If you want more information on it, click on the Astronomy tab, which is at the bottom of the homepage on CMY Weathertainment. Here's the progression of events. The clouds moved in last night, and the rain did as well. It's all going to move off this afternoon, but there's still the risk for a scattered shower here and there throughout the day today. So... Unsettled weather is going to continue throughout your Tuesday, all because of this weather maker that's moving through our north and west, replacing the high that brought the beautiful weekend and Monday morning weather. So that storm driving through to our west brings the wet weather, and then behind it, a trailing cold front. And you can see how there are little waves here, almost like waves crashing ashore, where there's the main area of cloud cover, and then there's little lines behind it, and then, of course, this is all representative of the colder air coming in behind it. So, as a result, there's a possibility of an instability thunder shower Wednesday afternoon. Moisture is deepest with the front itself, and then these little waves have some deeper moisture with them too, so that's why I have to leave the scattered showers in this afternoon and the thunder shower chance tomorrow afternoon only. And then the cool air just keeps on coming for Tuesday night, Wednesday, Wednesday night into Thursday. Have a look at the almanac for today where we topped out a surprising 85 yesterday. That surprised me. Forecast high was 81, and we got enough sunshine in to get us up to 85. The averages are down to 79 and 58. The forecast in a minute. Welcome to intermission. <laughs> And so if you're up early, the rain will be ending early, I'd say 7, 8 a.m., then some breaks in the overcast, but not for long because a few scattered showers will pass on through throughout the late morning and afternoon hours, and a high of double hockey sticks upside down 77. Tonight, partly or mostly cloudy, you could see a meteor or two if there's enough breaks in the overcast with a low temperature tonight about 62, so that's not very cold or cool yet. But look at tomorrow's high, 72. There'll be some blue, but then times of cloudier periods too, especially in the afternoon. And when that happens, you could run into that thunder shower later in the afternoon with a west wind and a high of 72. Your seven-day forecast, it looks exactly like this. Or could I say that? So, of course I couldn't. Again, scattered showers this afternoon, a thunder shower possible tomorrow afternoon, building clouds, but I think rain-free on Thursday. Another front comes through on Friday with an afternoon thunder shower. But look at that stretch of weather, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. Get out and enjoy this upcoming weekend. Looks like a stunner. Have a great day.